Hello my beautiful love goods and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just building a little house. There's nothing special about it. It's just a house that I imagine a couple of roommates live in and that's that. I don't know. I just wanted to build something simple and quick and just, you know, fun. You know, I wanted to use a little bit of CC too, so there's that. It's very simple. There's nothing much to say about it other than it's a house. <laughs> I just called it New Beginnings Drive because I imagined a couple of roommates just kind of starting out here. Maybe, maybe this is like their first little place. Maybe this is their second place. Who knows? But maybe they've been living in an apartment forever and they decided to get a, you know, a house together, you know, instead of renting in San Myshuno, they decided to get this little lot in Newcrest, and it's quiet and simple, but yeah, I don't know. Really like it, and uh, it's honestly kind of a cute house. I think it would be really good for families, too, to live in, but I just built it with two young adults in mind, so, but it's whatever floats your boat, or as you know, we would say in high school, because we were the, you know, uwu kids, uh, the emo kids, <laughs> we would say whatever floats your goat, because we were weird. We were the weird ones. And you know what? That's fine, because that's the motto of this channel. Stay weird. <laughs> that's the truth. That's what happened. But anyway, um, I don't have this uploaded to the gallery just yet. It has a lot of custom content. So uh, yeah, uh, I just needed to... Uh, I needed to upload it and forgot it earlier and I thought eh maybe I'll you know upload it later and then I was like well maybe I won't upload it at all because it's got CC but I'll still upload it regardless but if you don't have any of the CC you can easily just download the house the way it is and just kind of furnish it yourself with what you've got um it's not not like special by any means it's just a simple house so it's not like it doesn't require anything you know you could easily you know do this with you know EA content or just the base game even but I was just in the mood to use some CC you know I've got Peacemaker and Maxims and Harry Felix Sander well I didn't really use any Felix Sander content aside from the stuff that uh, he made with Harry and then I'm trying to think if there's any other creators that are like standing out to me I think that's really it though like for creator wise, like some stuff by Logical Sims too, of course, but I think that's pretty much it. But anyway, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. Um, I am doing okay. It's, you know, been a little bit of a tiring week, you could say. Um, I finally get this weekend off. Finally, I'm so excited and so relieved to get this weekend off. Um, I am, you know, I part-time, like if you all don't know, I work part-time, but this week I basically had to work full-time hours, uh, because, uh, I'm one of the few managers that are not, not left, but I am, you know, one of the two managers that was working and my store usually has four. So, you know, <laughs> um, but it's, it's good. It's all good. It was a good week. Nonetheless, it wasn't terrible, but you know, still a little bit <laughs> rough on my anxiety. Not, not to say anything specific, I guess. Mainly it was just the weather. Let's be honest. The weather got to me. Okay. You know, like I don't do well with severe weather and you know, it, we didn't get any, but they were predicting it. And you know, that caused my anxiety to go up. But anyway, <laughs> I won't talk about that too much. Um, but yeah, aside from that though, I have been playing my, my new switch this week. I am so happy that I bought this thing. Um, I got my tax return recently and I was like, okay, I'm going to actually spend this money on myself because I've worked all year for it and I deserve it. And I did. And, um, I'm very, very happy that I bought this thing. I, um, I have the, I have Pokemon Shield and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And I'm really enjoying Pokemon Shield. Let's be real. It was, it's, it's amazing. Like, I, I love this game. It's so fun. And the pacing is really nice. And the characters are great. I hate BD. I hate Team Yell. Um, but I love Hop so much. Hop is so precious. And I ship my character with him to the end of time. Um, and also, I bought Stardew Valley for the Switch as well. Even though I already own it on the computer, the PC, the desktop that I have. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying there. Um, even though I already own, already own it, wow. Um, I just was like, I really want to be able to play this in bed. <laughs> and it was it's only $15, so you know. But 
I might as well spend a little bit of extra money. But anyway, um, it's been really great having it though. It's been nice to just, it's been very anxiety free. Like whenever I pick it up and play it, I'm like really compelled to play it, but also I don't feel anxious, which is awesome. Um, that's not something that happens all the time. I get anxious over every little thing, but that's just me. But yeah. Anyway, um, what else do I need to tell you all about though? Oh yeah. Um, if you're seeing this on the day that it's being uploaded, um, I don't know when this is actually being uploaded, so never mind. Um, but if you are watching this on Saturday, um, if I have uploaded it on Saturday, March, 14th, 15th, or 14th, yeah. If you're watching this on Saturday, March 14th, which might be unlikely, um, I should be streaming tonight. I am considering streaming uh, the, the rest of number four, Privet Drive. And then I think the next stream, I'm gonna attempt to build another Harry Potter build. Uh, that might be, you know, either Sunday or Monday. It depends. I get a three day weekend, so it'll be great. It'll be nice and chill and relaxing. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, so I guess I could talk a little bit about the house. Um, it's very simple, the idea of it. I, like I said earlier, it's just a two bedroom house, nothing fancy, but I really loved, like, it's kind of got like this modern style and I definitely feel like it's a little bit fancy for, you know, a couple of roommates starting out. But you know, maybe this is like mostly Ikea stuff and they've saved up for it and they've just, you know, thrifted a lot of things that they've like redone themselves. I don't know. Um, I just wanted it to look cute and simple and clean. And uh, you know how much I love this color scheme of like using browns and oranges and greens. It's just, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's just, it's got this mid-century vibe, but not at the same time. Like it's very mid-century modern inspired, like the color scheme, if you know what I mean? I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, I've just been really into this color combination a lot lately. I even like have been editing a bit of my, like not assets for my channel. I don't know what I'm saying there. That's the only word I can think of though. But like, you know, like for my end card, for example, and my thumbnails, I've started using um, like an orange accent color and it's like a deep orange. It's like kind of an earthy tone too. It's really nice. And um, I know I normally used to say I never really like using text in my, thumbnails but for some reason with a darker color it just looks kind of nice because it's not like standing out it's not hard to read either at the same time like it's just like the perfect balance um but i don't know i don't know i just i just um i'm trying new things i guess it's nice to kind of change it up once in a while so it keeps it fresh and yeah but anyway i'm sorry if in this video i'm sounding a little bit like kind of monotone if you know what i mean i'm just kind of just kind of trying to relax today you know, it's it's just been one of those weeks. It's been very tiring for me, so I'm just keeping it chill, keeping it keep, keeping it good. Um, I'm not like I'm I'm pretty good right now. It's everything's great actually. Um, you know, things are going to be changing in the future, and I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on YouTube, of course. But uh, it's that'll be a bit. <laughs> It'll be a bit, but. Needless to say, I am considering um, looking into streaming from my Switch. It will take a little bit of stuff though. I think I'll need like an Elgato or something or capture card or whatever those things are called. You know, I don't know anything about that stuff. I shouldn't pretend that I do because I genuinely don't. I don't know anything about technology like that. I am like people always in my real life, in my real life, you know what I mean? Like in my personal life, people always look at me and they're like, oh, he's the tech person. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Hello? Like, I can work a computer? Excuse me? Like, duh? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just, maybe from my standpoint, I'm just seeing that as like next to nothing. I don't know. Imposter syndrome, maybe? Probably. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I do know about computers and I can pretty much pick up any device, computer, what have you, and sort of figure it out. But doesn't mean that I'm a tech person. I don't really know. But anyway, um, I love this bedroom. Can I just say, I love this bedroom. It's so simple. It's so plain. It's a, it's just a box. It's a four by four, four by four bedroom, but I love this bedroom. It's just blue. It's got blue and yellow accents and it just has a very simple functional space. I don't know why I love it so much. I love that desk. That's actually a desk by Maxims. I believe 
It is like an Ikea recreation in The Sims 4 and it's so pretty. I really want it in real life to be honest, except I'd want it in like a really dark wooden tone instead of just like kind of that medium tone, but that's really nice too. I would take it anyway, but yeah, I just really like this bedroom and I definitely feel like the other bedroom was kind of lackluster in comparison, um, but I was kind of trying to go with more of a minimal clean look in this bedroom. Like the other bedroom was a little bit more artsy, like in style, a little bit more eclectic but this one's a bit more clean and sleek and modern and there's also an easel in here so i can imagine that they intentionally do that so that you know when they're painting or whatever there's no distractions if you know what i mean at least that's how i am i don't like distractions whenever i'm working on anything creative I, like i like having a youtube video on in the background and that's it like if there was anything else it would just be too much so yeah, but it, it's it's a nice bedroom nonetheless. It's got a nice like green and white and light wood color scheme, which I consider to be very nice still. So yeah, but anyway, um, that's kind of it for the build, to be honest. Uh, the bathroom is, you know, a bathroom. It's got a shower, a toilet, and a sink. At least I would hope that's what other bathrooms have. Um, oh, I've seen in like this, I think it was an apartment tour. Um, you can look it up. It's it's really popular on YouTube. There's this Japanese, to it's, is it Tokyo? Yeah, it's a Tokyo apartment. And it's super, super narrow and it's super small. But this girl lived in it for a while and she, um, there was the bathroom and she walked into the bathroom and she was so confused. She was like, she's like, where is the toilet? Like there was the shower head and then there was the sink, but she couldn't find the toilet. And the cool thing was, is that the toilet was like hidden underneath the sink in a way. Like you pulled the sink out and it like, it was on a hinge or something and you like pulled it out like sideways and this the toilet was underneath and I was like that is so brilliant that's so smart um but yeah I, I wish we could build stuff like that in the sims for like not like that specifically but make more innovative things it'd be kind of cool if we got like a pack or something in the future that was this like innovative modern or something you know kind of like into the future you know in the sims 3 I would like a stuff pack that was like futuristic items or modern houseware maybe not, not maybe not that because I think illogical sims has a pack that says that but anyway um it's called that um yeah <laughs> anyway rambling aside I hope you all enjoyed this build and um you know I hope you all are drinking enough water today you better be I kind of need to myself I'm gonna be honest I need to drink some more water I've been a little bit I had a Gatorade earlier because I had a headache and I feel better now so yeah um I'm gonna go drink some actual water though because Gatorade's just got a lot of sugar in it which it ain't it ain't that much sugar. I mean, it is kind of okay. I just looked at it. Ooh, no. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, be sure to drink some water. Go eat something good for you. It doesn't have to be, you know, healthy. Just, it, it, you know, preferably it would be healthy. But, you know, it, it, as long as that makes you feel good, okay? Just, you know, go eat some bread. Go eat some... Don't don't eat just Funyuns all day. Like, like I said in the other video, don't just eat Funyuns all day because, you know, I could. But I'm not going to because I know better. But um, anyway, uh, be sure to uh, go follow me on Twitter at Lukey Lupin if you want to keep up with my, you know, absolute nonsense and, um, you know, chaotic bisexual life of mine because that's kind of how I am but um anyway I hope y'all enjoyed the video again and I hope y'all have a great weekend great beginning of your week great rest of your week wherever you are whenever you are in the world um ooh, I just copied delicacy there sorry girl but that was an accident <laughs> anyway thank you all so so very much for watching stay weird and beware of the nargles.